What's up, guys? I'm here in uh, Marsha fucking Massachusetts. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that, but I'm here in Massachusetts. I was here for work. I had to go down to Cape Cod, Cape Cod, and uh, do some stuff down there, some uh, some work stuff, some work work. But anyway, uh, I'm actually headed back to Dallas, Texas today, but I don't fly out till 5 p.m. and it's currently 10.45 in the morning. And uh, I was told by one Steven Turner to check out his cousin's store. It's called the, let's see if I can remember this, the Emporium of Retro and Unique Collectibles here in, I think he said it was Southeastern. So yeah, I did take a little side trip ski. It's right there. And uh, I'm gonna see what they got inside. I saw the pictures online and holy frick, it's like a toy museum in there, but uh, we'll see what I walk away with. There's also a pizza place and a sushi place, bam. There's some lunch ski for me, but uh, let's see what they got inside. I've only been to Boston once, 2009. It's currently 2022, so it's been some time. Let's go see what they got. Stop babbling on, you freaking moron. Pixel Dan just uploaded a video about the murders. Everyone, remain calm. I'm getting really concerned about my friend Nark. She's after you two and the board. Apparently those and some other deaths around the state are a direct result of some friends messing around with an old witch board. You're not gonna believe this. Wade just posted about it too. Someone is just walking around Texas just killing off toy collectors? I I've been looking up into every single thing you guys have been doing. Look. Within the last three days, 20 people have been killed. I, I don't know what to do, um, other than, at this point, just pray. No. no! I thought you two had an actual plan! If something came out of that board, it will probably kill you. Good luck with that! Alright, so as soon as you walk in, some detolves here. Wow, there's a, a lot of stuff in here. So let's take a look. There's a wall, modern stuff, legends. Oh, here we go. So as soon as you walk in, got some vintage shows. Let's see if there's any that I need in there. Um, I have to take another look. Got some Star Wars, there's a speeder bike. Vintage Star Wars there. I'm going on. Legos. <laughs> all right, wow, there's stuff everywhere on all the walls. There's some, there's a Punisher number one up there. What's that? Some Silver Age books up there too. Gonna have to look at those. Got Legends here, Star Wars Black Series. Got some three and three quarter here. This whole wall is carded figures here. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Some Matchbox, there are some Blu-rays and DVDs here. Some figures on top as well. Got some wrestling figures up top. There's a Keith Lee. I don't think I have that one. There's a lot of stuff in here. And let's see, we got some comics. We're gonna have to go through those. Short boxes. Some three and three quarter inch Star Wars vehicles. An Anat. Which Anat is that? Hmm. An X Wing. There's Padme's ship from uh, episode one. 
the gray skull, another ad at. What's in here? Ooh. Ooh. So we got some mask. Here's the volcano. There's a slingshot. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Some GoBots. Uh, let's see what else we got. <clears throat> what is this? I remember this. What toy line is that? I remember that, but I don't remember what it was called. Uh, some superpowers in there. Man, a ton of stuff in here. An absolute ton of stuff. Here's some Starcom. Let's see what's here. All right, so there's some sectars in the back. Looks like some Dungeons and Dragons. Got some masters. Mass of the Universe. There's some more masters there. These are 2000X. Got some turtles. I'm gonna slow roll through the turtles. This is for Craig. He's a rat catcher. Slash. Then you got some transformers. It's like a mix of uh, vintage and modern. And then more transformers. Let's see what else. All right, middle aisle, video games. It's a whole, like, wall of video games. A few pops there, more pops there. And what do we got up top? A few legends. Star Wars, more pops down here. Some Simpsons stuff there. Star Trek. I'm seeing a lot of Star Trek stuff. Ever since I said you don't see a whole lot of Star Trek stuff, I'm seeing a lot of it now. Star Trek, Star Trek. Oh, I didn't even notice these down here. It's just bins. Bins of Lucy's. Loose wrestling figures down there. Some loose figures there. I wonder, these are comics, $2 each, unless marked otherwise. Punisher meets Archie. I wonder who's gonna win that fight. And, oh, wow. So there's some, uh, I'm gonna have to go through here. I got time, I got time. What are these? 80s books. These are, I think these are two bucks each too. All right, definitely gonna go through these comic boxes. There's more comics there. And this place is awesome. There's so much stuff here. More wrestling figures up top. All right, so I'm gonna have to go through this one right here. I'm gonna look at the Joes and see if there's any that I need there. I'm gonna have to take a look at all these books on the wall. Yes. <laughs> I always see him. Here's some DC multiverse there, McFarlane. And some books in here. Oh, wow, there's a X Men number 12. Got some NES cartridges there. Some SNES there. Let's see what else. <laughs> Definitely have to take a slower look through here and then I'll show you some things that I find. Some all kinds of wrestling figures in this case here. Then loose, looks like DC and Marvel Legends there. 
Oh, there's a GI Joe headquarters up there. And Imperial shuttles. All right, let me take a look. I'll be back. All right, I got some more cases up front. There is some uh, superpowers in there. Dr. Fate, Lex Luthor, Flash, Superman, Aquaman, Hawkman, uh, Brainiac, Red Tornado in the back. Got some Mezcos here. Here's the ones they got. Superpowers Batmobile there. And then uh, I noticed this up here. You can see them. There's Venger. I think that's the Iron Studios Venger, which is a hard one to find. Is it Chase Jericho, AEW? Uh, there's a lot, a lot back there. I'm seeing if I can just spot anything I'm looking for. What's in there? Oh, is that a Lone Ranger? A Lone Ranger and Tonto. Just picked up the uh, carded Lone Ranger. I want to see how much the uh, Lucy's are. There's also an Indiana Jones in there. I'm going to ask about that one. And... So this one in the case here. This is the uh, Marvel Legends retro carded Hawkeye that I've been looking for. And then they also had... They also had Elsa Bloodstone who's going to be in the uh, Werewolf by Night special. There's a Strife back there. Really cool looking Abomination and then an Apocalypse. And what do we got in here? There's a King Shark. Uh, let's see. It's like a horror shelf there. Some Voltron Lions. 3-0. Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. And some more wrestlers here. Who's in here? Ezekiel Jackson, Brock Lesnar, the Purple Undertaker. And got some uh, Super 7s here, Super 7 Turtles. I gotta go through here and see if there's any, uh, see if there's any that I'm looking for in here as well. And then what do you got on the uh, Wolverine here? Someone sold their collection or something? It's in Baltimore. Three game, three. How far down? Uh, it's the, it's in the third one to the top. What are they gonna wear the old ones? All right, I got some slab books here. Nine inches in. Star Wars slab there. This one kind of stuck out to me. It's uh, Venom Lethal Protector number five. It's a nine six. And it's the first appearance of Phage, Lasher, Riot, and Agony. So four first appearances in one book. Pretty cool cover too. Nice grade too. And nine eight. 2099 Unlimited, first appearance of that, 2099 Hulk. And then uh, Venom Lethal Protector number one. First Venom in his own title, 9-6. Very nice. Here's another one here. Basic Spider-Man, 251, Hobgoblin appearance, 7-0. Nice looking cover there. And then this one is really cool too. So it's the Amazing Spider-Man 300 homage, but it's Spawn 300. This was a variant cover, 9-6. Very cool. All right, so there's a, uh, a next door area. This is the store next door to the store I was just in, and there's more stuff over here, so. Um, 
me show you what they got over here. All right, now this one's pretty hard to find. It's the uh, speeder bike Shadow Squadron. I think this was a Target uh, exclusive. Got that. Some hot toys up top. There's a $20.99 Spider-Man. Uh, there's a uh, 501st Kylo Ren. Looks like the Spawn Kickstarters. Some sideshows as well. Some slabs over here. What do they got? Which Batman is that? There's a Batman slab up there. Stepping on a piano from the movie Big. <laughs> Couple up there too. This one, my pickup. Cause this is hard to find. It's the Red Hood Nightwing 2 pack. And it actually comes with guns keys. Before DC or Warner Brothers had that little mandate not to have them anymore. Thanos Imperative. Turtles in Disguise pack. It's a mystery machine. Some NECA's here. Got some Transformers. It's a War Machine helmet and an Iron Man helmet. What's this? There's some NECA Turtles. All right, I am all done at Emporium of Retro and Interesting Collectibles. Here is the business card. You can take a look there. If you're in the area, give them a call. If you're passing through, if you're near Boston, come here, buy some stuff, because the store is freaking awesome. Um, so he allowed me to go next door to like the, the closed off store, because there's like a store, and then there's a store next to it, which was, I don't think it was open. I think um, they're setting it up still, but I was able to find something very, very cool there, which I've been looking for for uh, quite some time. It's very hard to find also. And there it is right there. It is the Red Hood and Nightwing two-pack, McFarlane two-pack. Hell freaking yes. I'm probably gonna have to take it out of box just to get it in my bag uh, to go home. I also picked up this retro figure right here. I got Tron. I almost got the Flynn too, but the Flynn looked a little uh, worn. This Tron looks immaculate. Uh, very, very nice paint on it. No scratching, no scuffing. Awesome, good stuff. And then I picked up some comic books. So I went through the boxes and I found four books that were uh, very, very good price, very reasonable. I got, if I could put them in order here. I got Wolverine number three. So from 1990, when was this? 1990, 91-ish, when he was Patch. I got Wolverine 3, Wolverine 4, Wolverine 5, Wolverine 6. Five bucks each, five dollars each. And then I got a slab, guys, I got a slab. This is the one that uh, I showed you in the uh, video. It is the first appearance of Phage Lasher. Riot and Agony, four first appearances. Venom Lethal Protector, number five. It is a nine six, baby. Hell yes, going home with a slab. So these will fit in my backpack. The Tron will easily fit in my backpack. I don't know what I, I'm gonna do with this one. I'd rather not put it in my suitcase. Maybe I'll chance it, put it in the suitcase. If it gets freaking mangled, it gets freaking mangled. Uh, and then I'll just be forced to take it out of the box. But I don't really want to take it out of the box, but I might have to. But anyway, that was an awesome store. Again, go here, check it out. Boston area. I think it's called Southeastern is where I am. Uh, but I'm gonna head to the airport right now. 
I'm gonna head back to Dallas, Texas. But uh, if, guys, if you're watching this video, uh, thanks for taking care of me in there. I appreciate it. And for having such great customer service. But uh, there you go, guys. There's another store tour, toy hunting video. I'll see you guys soon. See you around the corner. Adios for now. Follow me on what not. Link in the description. Adios for now. Have fun collecting. Bye-bye.